welcome to Dawn of War Dark Crusade, where we are finally going to begin our new Necron campaign. In we go. New campaign. We're playing on normal difficulty, so I find that's the most balanced and gives us the most options for tactical play. In we go. The planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Cracksman, um, I have just had another order come through. If your name is Matt, then I've got it. Right, Necrons, you are the Necron Lord of the tomb world the living called Cronus. Eons ago, you cut a swathe of glorious extermination through the galaxy. Now the living infect this world anew, and you will wipe it clean. Raise your monoliths and march your deathless soldiers forward. The graves of your victims wait to be filled. <laughs> Glorious, yeah, so we're playing as Necrons. We might, if people really enjoy this um, campaign, this series, perhaps do another faction playthrough at some point. But let's dive on in and let our Necron campaign begin. The Necrons had lain buried in the sands of Cronus for eons, having retreated there at the end of a great war only hinted at in the histories of ancient races like the Eldar. Long before man even stood upright, the Necrons and their dark gods had retreated to their tomb worlds. But their slumber was not eternal. Eventually their genocidal deities awoke them again driving them to purge the life that had spread across the galaxy during their sleep. On Cronus, this awakening came when an archaeological team opened a mysterious crypt on the arid Thor Abyss Plateau. Most of the team died, but expedition leader Thomas Maccabee somehow became one of the mysterious Necron pariahs. Seemingly retaining a hint of his personality, he occasionally spoke for the silent army as it advanced. The Necron Lord of Cronus, the most ancient and powerful of the deathless creatures on the planet, promptly launched a campaign of extermination. His loathsome god, the Nightbringer, hungered for the deaths of all those on Cronus. the Nightbringer. Such as angry skellies on the march. <laughs> I, mean, that's, I guess that's like, yeah, the 40k equivalent, right? It's, uh... It's, um... Tomb Kings. Welcome to the single-player campaign for Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. 
These tutorial windows will guide you through the first two turns of play and introduce key features of this all-new campaign mode. Your goal is to conquer the planet Cronus. This world's inhabited continent is divided into 25 different provinces. Your conquest of the planet will happen one province at a time. The campaign map is your major interface for directing your troops' strategic moves. Individual battles are fought on the smaller scaled battle map. This province is your stronghold or home province. It is from here that you are launching your conquest of Cronus. If your stronghold is ever conquered, you will be pushed from Cronus and lose the campaign. Since this is the first turn, this is the only province you currently control. The enemy factions each have their own strongholds identified by banners on the campaign map. To win the campaign and make Cronus yours, you must conquer all six of these heavily defended provinces. The figure of your commander indicates the current position of your main army. You can only attack a province that borders the province where your army is, so its position on the map defines your options. The enemy factions each have armies of their own and also can only attack adjacent provinces. One of your enemies, however, controls a spaceport in the Pavonis province. He can attack all over the map. Okay. These arrows show you where your army can move or attack this turn. Red arrows indicate attacks into enemy provinces. Green arrows indicate moves into friendly provinces. Since this is your first turn and you only control your stronghold, you must attack an enemy province. To move to or attack a province, left click to select that province and then click on the attack or move button in the right panel. We should begin by attacking an enemy province. Select the province you want to attack and click the attack button. Okay. Left yeah, left click if we want to see this, what we'll get from it. Sorry. I jumped to their tutorial so we can find out what we get. So I want to go for this as soon as possible. The Ares Badlands, which is quite close. We can't get to it because there's a wall there. So we have to go through uh, the Mariah Coast first. But getting Fury allows us to attack twice in a single turn. Probably once we get that, we'll see if we're strong enough to deal with the Imperial Guard early. Uh, or we'll circle around and grab the spaceport. Possibly. Uh, or we might have to wait until we're a bit stronger. We've got Chaos down here. Imperial Guard up that way. Orcs to the southwest. Tau to the west uh we've got in the northwest the eldar or directly north of us the uh, space marines the blood ravens so we'll see them going after one another them clashing um let's move my army to attack here this screen shows you the forces you are leading into an attack and allows you to return to the campaign map if you decide you want to attack later since this is your first attack most options aren't yet available. When you're ready to attack, just click on the attack button. This will take you to the battle map, where you will face enemies in a game of Dawn of War. Dun, dun, dun. So when we take this, we'll get a bonus crypt, crypt warrior squad to go to our honor guard. Uh, the enemy commander is a skilled combatant. The enemy force likely consists of basic infantry. The enemy has a single base, uh, and we're up against uh, chaos here. Here we go. Uh, first time playing. Um, not... Um, not specifically. Uh, I've I've attempted this campaign a couple of times. Um, but had some save issues slash didn't like the difficulty level. Um, so this is my kind of kind of final first run attempt, as it were. I played a I've played the other Dawn of Wars though, and I played this years and years ago. But it has been a while. Here we go. Start the mission. Mariah Coast. We need straight in plasma generators. Uh, we need to pump out more builder scarabs and then some Necron warriors. Send them up this way. We've got a big old map. Should just be one enemy base. So yeah, vitalize our monolith. Get it going. Go build a scarab goat. Once they built that, we'll go capture that point because only my builder scarabs can capture points. None of my units or lord can. Just 
Keep building. Need all the power we can possibly get. Because that is our main... In fact, it's our only resource, really, besides time, I guess. Which just accelerates our construction training and research times. Send our Necron Lord of Cronus over this way, just for the moment. And send some warriors with him. Uh, let's get a Forbidden Archive. They've captured that one, so we can now build an obelisk on it to lock it down. And we'll go for a summoning core as well. Build a gauze turret in case we get attacked and we need to push the enemy back. We want to go for the resurrection orb from that one, but we can't get that until we've got the great summoning core. We we'll need to upgrade that when we've got enough power. We definitely don't have enough at the moment. So let's get more plasma generators. Need 60 power though to build another one. There we go. Plop it down. More warriors. Here we go. Chaos is coming. More generators required, but actually go capture more of these points for me. Pretty much, I want to say the Napoleon series on YouTube has been tip top. Awesome, glad you're enjoying it. We're actually going to stream some more of it later today. Uh, once we've done some of this campaign. So if you hang about for a few hours, you'll be able to watch it live. Yep, scramble. They captured a relic. Okay. We'll send those three out, I think, to start with. That should be enough. Just need to keep building plasma generators. Need more power. That, while that's happening, we can send this other one out to go grab stuff. Grab some relics and other points, please. And then keep placing obelisks to lock down strategic points, because I think that's, yeah, that's how we increase our time bonus by building obelisks everywhere. We can upgrade them as well to better protect points. We won't worry about it just yet. Awaken Monolith, we can try and pop that, just but not yet. Now, I always get just immortal. I think it's, is it the immortals I always keep recruiting wrong? They're, they're anti-vehicle, aren't they? They're not, yeah, they're, they're not effective against infantry immortals. And I think I've, in the past, I've recruited them thinking they're good against infantry, which they're not. It's the, um, it's the flayed ones that are, are powerful melee infantry. And I don't, yeah, I don't really have a ranged infantry group that's good against other infantry, if, if I'm remembering correctly. That's kind of the gap in the Necron force as such. Um, basic ne Necron infantry are my main, my go-to. I'm going to send my army on attack move. Uh, send them up here. Yeah, warriors are really good because you just keep improving them through... Uh, not that it's a summoning core. Yeah, disruption field and stuff like that. But since we've nearly got 300 power, I'm just going to wait a little bit more and get the awakened monolith. Because eventually we can make this into a mobile base of doom and death uh you guys saying pariahs are newest breed necron pariahs are a revolting combination of necron metal and human flesh effective against infantry and heavy infantry are oh, they have a, they have their melee units though as well yeah yep, 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 yep. hey winter frost glad you can make the stream yeah warriors are just cracking stuff plus they cost no power so that's fun can we build an obelisk there we can 
keep building that to increase time. Um, don't know where they're going to be. Let's try going opposite corner. I think it's random where they deploy, isn't it? It's not always the same each time. Go grab all that stuff. That's a slag deposit. You slag. Uh, we can get the thermoplasma generator on there once we have the awakened monolith. Which is done. So back over here. Let's build the greater summoning core. Oh, we don't have enough power. So let's do another plasma generator. Never enough generators. They're dual melee range. Oh, what? Uh, pariahs. Do the dirty reanimation protocol. Yeah, we do need to do that. Once we've got the greater summoning orb. We can get three of them. What's what's the best combo, do we reckon? Obviously, re resurrection orb. But what about the other ones? I feel like solar pulse is pretty cool. Um, Chrometron. That could be pretty cool. Off they go. No, we've got up here and there's no one about. Um, let's go over this way then. See if they're on this little bit. They're not going to be that much. Like, this is like a strength one region as well. So they're not going to be that powerful. It's our first battle as well. But buildings you build on the map are persistent um, between battles. So it's worth building up plenty early on. Here we go. I mean, you could really min-max it and conquer everything on every single map before you push for victory. But I'm not going to be that that anal about it. Get some more builder scarabs. Oh, we're getting attacked by raptors. My spleen! That's their lord. Try and bring him down. You guys try and take out those raptors. Go on, take him out. Go on, bring that Chaos Lord down. Nice. Teleport. Come on, get him. Hey, keep trying to do your animation, but he's, he's running still. Oh, we got the strike. One more hit. There we go. Oh, and ruined. Skewered. Bye-bye. Go, go, go. I reckon their base is up there then. Uh, we should be able to get the greater summoning corn out. Let's pop that back there. Yeah, we got loads of it. Go grab more points. You can build a thermoplasma generator up there for me. My lord slaughtering cultists. Lovely. I love that. I love that cries. I have my spleen. Ah. <laughs> Is that wrong? I enjoy listening to their cries of them losing their spleen. Probably. Well, there's a load of them back here. Oh no, we found their base though. It's up here. Grabbing that one online. Now upgrade that again. Um, NG core. No, don't need that just yet. Um, yeah, sure. Build me some more. More stuff. I can now get the resurrection all though. Keep 
Keep going. Get another obelisk up there. We're at 100%. Catch some more points. Nice, nice, nice. What's ev yeah, what's everyone collect 40k wise or play 40k wise? What are your armies? Teleport. Bring it down. That should be a win. I think that's all we need to do for our objective. Destroy the HQ. Yep. About the other artifacts, what do we reckon? But that one's a good one to have. That seems pretty good, actually. The Lysery. Scarabs that repair his body. Pariahs go. That base is nearly got to be down by now. Surely oh, they've got their lord back out again. No, no, Chaos Sorcerer. Nice. There we go. We won the battle. So we got the Crypt Warrior Squad. And we've got some war gear as well. You earn war gear for each of the following accomplishments. Someone note this down because I always forget these. So you get it for a 3 to 1 kill ratio. You get it for 1 conquest. You get it for 5, con uh, five conquests. For 15 conquests. 2,000 kills. 5,000 kills. 3 defeated enemies. 1 defense. 3 defense. And 5 defenses. Okay. As you conquer more and more provinces you'll be awarded pieces of special equipment for your commander. This equipment is called war gear. You will never be awarded a specific piece of war gear. Instead, for each award, you get to choose one piece from the list on this screen. Note that you may have to get some pieces of war gear to unlock other, more powerful versions. So that requires stuff. So it's all the ones in gray we can go for. Uh, upgrade range attack, skinning blades. I think I'm going to go for reinforced body so I can make him a bit more of a unit. And then we can give him the mantle of doom upgrade. Heart of darkness is nice. That has increased health regeneration. But I'll go for reinforced body first. So we go. See, big old shoulder pauldrons. Continue. We should have that Congratulations. now. Congratulations. You have conquered your first province. Thanks. This victory has given you several rewards including a piece of war gear and the bonus from the province. Every province on the map has a special bonus. This bonus is displayed in the right-hand panel when you select the province. Some provinces give you the ability to train a special unit for your commander's honor guard. Once trained, these units accompany your commander into the initial stages of battle. You can train these units or retrain them if they are destroyed in battle from the commander screen or the attack screen. Other provinces give you special abilities, like the Era's Badlands, which gives you the ability to attack twice per turn. Okay. This is the province that you've just conquered. Cool. Notice that it has changed your color, that your army is now here. Whenever you conquer a province, your army moves to that province. You can only move or attack once per turn, so your turn is effectively over. Next turn, new provinces will be available for you to attack. When you are ready to let the enemy factions act, click on the End Turn button. I was just thinking, why are our faction colors not like Necron green, but it's because orcs have already got green. <laughs> so we've got like grey metal. This screen um, provides you with a snapshot of your progress in conquering the planet Cronus. Good. It includes a running tally of your conquests, your commander's statistics, your honor guard, and more. 
If you haven't yet trained an Honor Guard unit, or you've lost one in battle, you can train it on this screen by simply clicking on its icon. You can also access the War Gear screen from here. So yeah, War Gear, we can see we've got that one equipped. Can't take it off, that's okay. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Honor Guard, yeah, I want to recruit that one. And it'll now be in my Honor Guard, so I start battle with e each of those units, which is good. Um, let's end the turn. Um, how's Daddy like getting nothing? Just about. We're actually, we had we had a couple of bad nights with some cluster feeding going on uh, earlier, earlier on in the week, but um, last couple of nights have been pretty good. Each of the enemy factions will now act in turn. Like you, they each have their own strongholds and armies. They will each move their armies, or attack and reinforce their provinces in turn. Pay attention to where your enemy's armies are. Armies will reinforce nearby friendly provinces under attack, bolstering the defense with additional troops. Okay. It's taking their turns quickly, just moving into nearby regions, aren't they? It is now your turn to act again. You'll notice that you have gained planetary requisition from the provinces you control. Each province produces planetary requisition every turn. You use planetary requisition to reinforce your provinces by stationing troops there and to train honor guard units. To reinforce a province, simply left click on a province you own and then click on the reinforce button in the right hand panel. Okay, uh, we've got our honor guard. That one we don't need to worry about. Chaos can attack us through that one. But I saw the Imperial Guard. They went after this, um, the Pavonian Heartland, and then they came back. So I can only assume they failed to take it and got pushed back. Silly. Silly Imperial Guard. <laughs> Getting wrecked already. Orcs didn't do anything. Tau, as far as I'm aware, didn't do anything. The Eldar moved out over here. And Space Marines sat up there. So it would be interesting to see if they go off it anyone and wipe each other out um so we could reinforce you to garrison troops in a province. these troops will be ready when you fight to defend this province from enemy attacks stationing troops in a province costs you planetary requisition the available units are on the panel later you can recall these troops if the province is no longer at risk recalling a unit will give you back half the planetary requisition you spent to station it in the first place okay be careful. All your purchases will be final once you accept the changes on this screen. I don't think we need to put anything at our, at our stronghold just yet. Maybe putting something in here to help if we do get attacked. But at the moment, I'm going to say no because I'm going to go straight for the Eerie's Badlands and go after the Fury, which will give us... Uh, it's a relic of the Chaos God, Corn. allows controlling factions to launch two attacks per turn. Um, and you may attack a second time in the turn in which you take over the Badlands. So we can go for that one and then on to this one. So we'll save my requisition for going for the Crypt Immortal squad. And then maybe see if we can do an early knockout against the uh, Imperial Guard. Let's attack. So yeah, bring in our Honor Guard. Uh, the Crypt Warriors. In we go. And Honor Guard units are slightly stronger, aren't they? It was they, during then? the Horus Heresy that the influence of chaos on regular ones. first drove Space Marine against Space Marine. Cronus witnessed some of this terrible fighting, and the heretics of those ancient times left behind them terrible artifacts. In the desolate Ares Badlands stood one such talisman, an ancient icon of the blood god Khorne. With war sweeping Cronus once more, a demon within the icon awoke. It fed on the souls of those slain in combat and promised gifts to whoever would slake its thirst for blood. Even the warriors of the Imperium ended up feeding the fiend as they fought across the Badlands to prevent others from claiming this prize. The faithful tried to ignore the whispers the demon slipped into their minds. But every death still fed its dark appetite. In the end, whoever controlled the Ares Badlands would gain a measure of the demon's fury, allowing them to launch attack after attack against their enemies. 
Do it. Grab that. Oh, oh, went a bit soon. Um, objectives. Slaughter the Imperial Guard. <laughs> that I can do. Aye, aye, Captain. You can't add more squad members to them, but I think they're they're a bit more powerful than your typical. Crypt warriors. Get more of them out here. Capture that quick. If we win today, we're gonna get cooking with Lionheart. <laughs> One day. Definitely have cooking with Lionheart in the new place. Hope we'll get to do some cooking stuff at this place before we move. Build the obelisk. Got you guys ready. Just waiting to see where the Imperial Guard is. We've got 28 minutes remaining. We've got to destroy 140 enemy units to gain the demon's power. Cap that one. Necron Master Ace. I'm I'm a big fan. I think perhaps in the far flung future, if I ever do manage to finish up building all the um all the Hail Space Marine World Eaters that I've got, I wouldn't mind actually going for a Necron army. So yeah, what's the difference in stats between these guys? These guys are 30 to 40 melee damage and 24 to 31 ranged. I look exactly the same. Oh, is it? Hang on. It's going to be... Morale is higher, as is their health. Like, quite considerably, actually. They, they, can, they can only have four of four. They don't do any extra damage, but they're, they're tougher. Here we go. There's their commander. Bring him down. Here come the guard to their death. Oh, absolutely smacking the crap out of their commander. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Yeah, he's dead. Blood. Yep, I'm happy to feed you. Fear not. Who's a hungry blood god? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Oof. I mean, there's some more scarabs to go do some capturing for me because there's a capture point back up there. I might go grab. Secure. You guys are done over here. Just more power, please. Bar. Bar generators needed. Uh, let's push up that. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Got a little listen, listening post over there. Destroy that. Let's go to my dad heart voice, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see if they awaken monolith. More generators needed. Bring him down. Oh look, Imperial Guard getting absolutely slaughtered. Who'd have thunk it? Twenty-five minutes remaining, and we've got twenty-four. The enemy killed so far. Let's 
send you guys out to capture some more points for me. And we got that one, which means obelisk time. There we go. Ooh. They're up here. What's that? I don't know. Chaosy temple still. See their base up here. It's got that. Try and smack it. Um, you yeah, just got to slaughter them. Destroying their base, I don't. I guess it actually probably would be counterintuitive if you destroy their base before that you've managed to kill enough of their units off. Although, hang on. We're under attack back here. Pull back. Not good, not good, not good. Obelisk. Pause cannon, please. More Necron Warriors. Bro. Who capture stuff? The guard is swarming. The guard is swarming. Can still lose on normal, yeah. Yeah, I don't think normal's um like I still feel like it offers a reasonable challenge from what I've seen. To be fair, for this mission, we don't need to worry too much about like pushing out and going in for the kill or anything like that. We just need We get enough kills, which we can do that. We need a summoning core. I was about to say, why have we not like upgraded yet? Because I've not built the Roddy summoning core. You guys can have an obelisk in three, two, one. Okay. See if we can go grab the relic. Leave these guys over here for now. Give them a disruption field to give them unnatural energies, pulse across the living metal and necron warriors, improves their health and damage. from all sides. We've got this helping out as well. Yes. Just a few souls more. Come back over here. You guys aren't going to be able to capture that. So pull back. Go over that way. Eighteen more, and then we're done. Yeah, Kron's working for chaos. Well, not working for chaos, but working to gain the benefit of chaos, being the fury. The there we go. The Job done. Shall be yours. Max 
Swagger of Victory. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've also just unleashed the demon a little bit. Not so good that, but hey ho, we get the fury. Happy days. Thank you. So we, we can now the attack again. Lands and gain the fury special ability. Fury gives you two full moves per turn instead of just one. Just like before, you can use each one to move your army to a neighboring province you control or to attack a neighboring enemy province. This ability is available right away so you can attack a second time this turn or move your army from the Eris Badlands before ending your turn. Right. Um, we didn't get any other... We just got the Fury. We didn't get any other... Honor Guard or anything like that. Nope, that's fine. So we're going to attack that. Got our honor guard. The enemy is skilled combatant, but only like consists of base infantry. They have a single base. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Um, just want to check. Was it three conquests that we get? Another war gear? No, five conquests. Okay. Destroy the enemy HQ. Stand them up that way. Plop a generator and then start going cap stuff, I think. If you please. Come on, Scarabs. Faster. Poke and prod to build things quicker for me. Go cap that. Oh, you've got this one. I was thinking, hang on. We had another Scarab due. Build more generators. Most annoying ones are we have to kill X number in a single mission. Hmm. I don't think any of the war gear ones tie that. I think, isn't it just like 5,000 total kills? I don't think it's across one mission. Otherwise, that would be a, a mammoth task to do. I'm assuming it's across the whole campaign. What did you mean for the special requirements for like capturing the relic and stuff? Uh, the, yeah, the fury and stuff. That wasn't too bad, 140 units. Fairly swiftly. Get Obelisk on that. He's got a defensive bonus because of his pauldrons, isn't he? Yep. Then you to go capture that point. Keep building on up. We've not actually had to awake, or well, not had a chance to awaken a monolith yet. We might do in this one. Three to one kill death is only easy on orc guard. The only easy on orc or guard uh, main base you find. Okay. Otherwise, fairly, fairly challenging. Oh. So for Necron, surely it should be, if we get the resurrection stuff going, it shouldn't be too difficult. Get off my scarabs. There we go. I guarantee I'm stronger than you are, mate. I'm back. Kill him. Obelisk. Oh, and um, we get some more scarabs out.
you're just gonna run back to your base aren't you i might actually just follow you though just so i know where your base where their base is just follow him back and in the meantime actually run these guys up here so i can kind of secure this whole section of the map that'd be quite useful go grab that stuff go grab this bit You finish building. They've realised that he's realised that he's um he's just luring me. Well, he's just revealing where their base is. I don't think he's quite luring me back. Something call go. Send you guys. What about there to go grab that relic point? Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Secure him. Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Finish him, finish him. No, go for that, go for that, go for him. Take him, kill him, get him. Do it. He's gone. Noise. Let's build that one. Need summoning core. Is ready. Upgrade. Build more plasma generators. Capture more points. Push on up. Go 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 more powerful units out in a bit. Let's upgrade the monolith. Upgrade that. Power up my uh, my Necrons. base will be about up this way. Still taking their time to capture stuff. Okay, we need the greatest summoning core. So if that will need that bit there. Yeah, here we go. this. Bring it down. Summoning core. Go. Get the rest of these guys continue to build more plasma generators. Build an obelisk. Build an obelisk. Build an obelisk. Smack him back. There you got a commissar here as well. Take out the commissar. Keep them all busy. That's what we want. Can't do that because we need the great summoning core. We'll do mass resurrection in a minute. Take out their barracks, though. So that'll be pretty helpful. Mass resurrection, please. Upgrade the monolith. Great. 
Bring it all down. When does Trazen come in and steal entire regiment from that? <laughs> Not yet. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Multiple attack bonuses. Oh yeah, that's increased our range damage. It's them absolute beasts. Why am I playing so zoomed in? This is the first way you can be. This is playing zoomed in. <laughs> right, time to build an energy core, but we need more power. Three, two, one, go. I say we just saw the HQ. That should be it. Done. We got the Crypt Immortal Squad. Nice. They're great for taking out vehicles. So we can't move in again. They don't have their honor guard though because they lost their last attack. So we can push in on them if we want to. Um, I think I might give it a go. It'll be a tough mission. Although we could just actually, we could just quickly go there and then we'd have to move back here, but it gives us another Crypt Warrior squad. Then we border with the um, Blood Ravens, which can just get into that region there. I think I won't put. What's industrial production though? Okay, that's quite good. Now, I think we'll try and push and attack them next turn. Get these guys in. We haven't unlocked any extra war gear yet. But yeah, could that tell me how much? Conquest is on three. Total kills 290. So we get one bit of war gear at 2,000. Another at 5,000. And we get uh, another bit of war gear at five conquests as well. Right, end the turn. No one else moving. Oh, the orcs are going in for an attack against the tower, though. Will they do it? Apparently not. <laughs> They've got their honor guard back. I think they're just... Most of these guys are just building up their honor guard, but I don't know how... How are they building up honor guard if they're not pushing out to take regions? Or is just the AI just give them some to power them up, basically, so they're more challenging when you eventually come to face them? I would imagine. Chaos is building up quite a few. Oh, we get the Pariah Squad actually from that one. That would be quite good to have. That would be quite good to have. I think we're going to try it though. We're going to try attacking <laughs> Imperial Guard. This is a heavy stronghold. Um... So yeah, enemy stronghold. Expect to face very heavy resistance. Expect assaults on your force as soon as you arrive. Victory will eliminate this race from the game. So yeah, if we, if we can push through to victory here, we will knock out the Imperial Guard completely, which would be great. But it's going to be a pretty tough mission. Um, it's Yeah, there's a Titan cannon basically here. Um, which you can sort of see on the map, that trench is the kind of... The, the arm of the Titan is up here and it fires all the way down. It's going to be a slog, but worthwhile if we can knock them out this early on.